Hey everybody, welcome back to 3D6 Down the Line. This is episode five of the Halls of Arden Vool. Uh, we are playing this uh, massive OSR mega dungeon you in the old school essentials rule system by Gavin Norman and Halls of Arden Vool is by Richard Barton. Um, I am your GM, your referee. My name is John and going around the horn, we have as always, Mike, I'm playing a dwarf named Gorind. David, I'm playing Varger the Thief. Uh, Matt, I play Avaricios the Cleric. And uh, I'm Ted, and I was playing Osric. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's killing me! <laughs> and now I'm dead. But now you're playing. But now I'm playing Squeegee the Knee Biter, a goblin. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, so there was uh, much drama ensued at the end of last session with the uh, the untimely demise of Osric the opulent at the time of his death um, to a a named a named wraith uh, named Lucrios, the second overseer, whatever that means, um, outside the Tower of Scrutiny uh, in the uh, ruined city of Ardenville, uh, which overlooks the Great Forum, um, the ruins of the Great Forum. So. Uh, at the time we left them, it was a 11 a.m. on the next day. It's the 28th of Lucrios, um, Hora's Day, uh, warm and sunny again. And you guys have are, your hearts pounding. You have escaped out without your without your companion away from uh, the Master Wraith and uh, some sort of stone guardian that was also uh, uh, was pointedly ignoring Osric for some some reason, but chasing after you. Um, it seemed that the wraith was uh, uh, thwarted by sunlight, and so you escaped out of the secret door back out to the eastern side of the Tower of Scrutiny. Um, uh, right, okay, so uh, one real quick thing, just logistical-wise, I wanted to give a prop, uh, a shout-out to a commenter from last episode uh, who goes by the name of Robert, who pointed out that uh, he thought that I should be using the wilderness adventuring rules as far as measuring movement in the ruined city versus dungeon crawling, which he's absolutely right. I looked them up, um, and uh, it 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 works to your benefit actually because it actually increases your movement speed over land. So um, all right. So the basic way it works. So um, just so, so you guys can kind of because this is important for your decision making, like right now, um, is that your your movement rate, your exploration movement rate, which is like around ninety right now. If some of you guys are one twenty whatever that number is, is now no longer in feet, it's in yards, right? Mm -hmm. So it triples oh. your movement rate, okay? So if we're going by the slowest member, who I believe is Avaricios, who's moving at 90, but correct me if I'm wrong, Matt. Uh, uh, yes, I am the slow boy. Right, 90, okay. So that means t it's 270 feet per turn with the wilderness adventuring rules, which is according to, well, you don't even know, need to know the squares because you're not even seeing that, Matt, but um, it... Uh, it makes you move like, significantly faster. I think it moves you up from like, I was counting squares. You were moving like two squares a turn. Now you're going to be moving like five, a little bit more than five. But mm -hmm. I'm, going to, I'm going to round it down to five. Um, so I just want you to be aware that you can you can make a good headway. Because basically you are doubling your speed uh, with the old way with Dungeon Adventuring turns. And now you're basically going to be tripling your speed. So, um, so getting back right, to the end, getting back you, to the end is, sorry, John. So getting back to the end is just like a matter of like, like, less than an hour because it took us like two two and a half hours to get from the end so. to the tower i'd have to count the, the squares again but um yeah it shouldn't be that much to be now that doesn't mean that the the trade-off is well no there's no trade-off well yeah it does assume that you're <laughs> only that you're, positives yeah it, it does um it does mean that you're not being like super stealthy like you're not moving very super carefully right yeah um yeah. but neither you weren't doing that when you're moving double your movement rate either so yeah, uh, I just wanted to make that clear. Uh, but thank awesome. you to commenter Robert for pointing that out because I will definitely be adopting that. Um, all right, so you guys are panting, frightened, saddened by the loss of Osric. Mm. Uh, mm. uh, what do you plan to do? All right, well, first, I, I mean, frankly, we only knew Osric for what, like, like four or five days. <laughs> so, that is that is very cold of you, my friend. He, he, but it was, was a pretty time, pretty right? awful death, and not something that's long that's, that's going to leave your memory anytime soon. Mm. I consider him something of a brother, and uh, very very sad. Uh, John, I would I would like to um, uh, uh, toast uh, uh, our, our 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 lost companion. Uh, poor Osric, uh, and I, I hold up the um, 
uh, the brandy. That little <laughs> one, that one, one thing of brandy. I, I hold it up. Nice. Uh, Very appropriate for Lucian. Utlozrik, the over. <laughs> the over. <laughs> I, I take a sip of that. I take a sip of that old brandy, and then I I pour a little bit out for. Uh, nice. not, not, not too much, you understand, because I don't want. <laughs> you know, just just a you know just a little bit. Yeah. It doesn't need too much now. Tolerance is very bad. <laughs> F and chat. F and chat. Well, if you wanna if you wanna try to pour a drop into his lips, I'm gonna try to pull his corpse up here in a second. <laughs> yeah. So, what is the plan? Are you guys going back down, or are you going back to the inn? Uh, what I propose, uh, as a refresher to the listeners as well, uh, we had a, a, actually, the first thing I have to say is, wow, rope, what a, what a thing, thank <laughs> God we had rope. Rope is great. <laughs> <laughs> Whose suggestion was it to get rope? All right. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> um, so, uh, we had kind of a convoluted two rope setup, wherein one was fixed for our descent that we left. And then another we fixed to Ted last episode. And then upon climbing the first rope, we also pulled Ted's rope and affixed it where the first rope was. Uh, up and, I don't know, like five feet away from the trap door and thereabouts. What I suggest, since this wraith was afraid of light and I have no uh, wisdom to speak for, <laughs> to speak of, is uh, I try to sneak in with the door open and light beaming through and uh, as silently as possible, grab the end of that rope and walk it back since it's a full 50 feet until it's taut, which hopefully will get me towards the door and try to haul them up from there. Um, that's what I'd like to do because there are many, many gemstones worth lots of goodie, <laughs> lots of gold on that body. Uh, I think about 150 worth. Uh, and that is more money than I have ever seen. And uh, I'm confident any of us will ever see before we die terribly here. So. <laughs> Truth. So If you guys are on board with that, I'd like to try it. Uh, I mean, I'm so down I, for it. I, I don't want to lose any more people to the Wraith, but on the flip side, it's like that's a, that's a lot of money. But as long as it is you doing this, I am fine. And ever In fairness, if we all die to the Wraith, then we can just play as the Wraith as a new party, right, John? That's how that was a Wraith party, yeah. <laughs> uh, Everisio, so you're the only one of the three of you that is hurt right now. Uh, I thought we didn't we all take damage when he had like he had like a burst or something. No, no, he just knocked back uh, Ted, I think, through the door. Uh, yeah, I, I remember <laughs> taking I remember taking two points of uh, uh, damage at some point. Oh, or yeah, splinters or something when he kicked yeah, I thought the door. He, like when he burst open oh, the door. Possibly. I thought there was, oh, it was the door. Yeah, there was door, like yeah. A, it was like a breath oh. effect. Or something. Oh, I think that you're you right. Call. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I have two hit points marked down here. Let me I thought it first. got all of us for two. Yeah. So just be aware before you make your decision of exactly how much health you have left and all that kind of stuff. Of course. You know, so you guys are tracking your hit points. I hope that's that, that's key. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, John. Absolutely. <laughs> <He's getting eaten laughs> out there and, and now that our I also have a thousand gold. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, when you have five hit points, they're easy to keep track of. Um, okay, uh, so, so yeah, that's I mean, what you're going to do? You're going to go down? Uh, I, yeah. I, okay. I, again, the, the idea is because I'm, I, I saw the Wraith react to the sunlight that was coming through this door, I want to leave the door open. I want everyone to sort of be standing on the outside of the door. Go ahead. Um, of course, number one. Not, <laughs> maybe I'm remembering the space wrong, David, but if memory serves, so the rope was tied around... Um, Osric's waist mm -hmm. and went up the trap door. Yes. Yeah. You don't need to go down anywhere. You I'm not to... going down. No, 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 no. Oh, somebody just said, Are you going down? You don't need well, to go down. I just, oh, I just meant, no, I meant no, back no, in, no, I should no, say, no, not, no. not down. <laughs> no, no. Okay. To be clear, I'm going to in as far as I need to to get this 50 foot rope and then pulling it as quietly right. back okay. as okay. 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 And you, I... were, you were right at the base of the trap door, which is only about 10, 10, 15 feet. I'm so right I should there, have yeah. 30, 40 feet of leeway to pull slack before I'm even getting you tall, which yeah. should get me. I don't, I don't remember the exact dimensions of the room, but it should get me pretty close to the door. Well, you'll be outside it. in the sunlight. That's what I thought. So yeah. my, my plan is to be very quiet and do exactly that. Right. I want to go in, I want to grab it. I want to sneak back. Yeah. I want to get the sunlight and I want to start pulling with you. Why don't, right. you, why don't you give us uh, the little mirror that you have? So sure. I can do right that now the, the, sun, the angle of that sun is coming 
it's going up and up and we're losing depth into the sure, 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 sure. Yeah. right so I will if we give have you that, that mirror yeah. we we have like a little laser gun i don't know what that is <laughs> oh, uh, so like cool in that thing. movie uh legend right with tom cruise yeah the mirrors there you go. As you're as you're bringing out the mirror and it catches the sunlight, it actually uh, over your shoulder uh, captures what seems to be a quick um, a, a, a quick source of movement from behind oh, you. Oh, cool! Love that. Mm. Yeah, and you're jerking your head around. You see a strange creature come sidling up. I don't know how. I don't know how he actually how he actually moves. <laughs> All right. But you could, uh, you could swear it was an imperial goblin of some sort by the by uh, <laughs> Oh oh I see, I see. <laughs> I was like, are we about to get ambushed? <laughs> <TPK."> <laughs> I turn around and turn goblin. I can do that buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a goblin. Good job, genius. You figured it out. I'm a goblin. <laughs> what gave it away? Was it the nose? Was it the ears? <laughs> Come on. I, what, I you go, what, you, the... what are you what are you what are you uh Jamukin's doing here looking down that hole? What's going on? I can't handle that accent for the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> Let you know now. Ah, oh, come on. This is the, come on, do not be racist. This is how I heard that this is the Imperial Goblin speak. Yeah, yeah. This is how they talk, Mike. Come on. So uh, what do they see when they whip around to see what new threat looms? Uh, well, Squeegee the Knee Biter is wearing studded leather, uh, has a, a shield, Got a bow and arrows on his back. He's actually bristling with weapons. And a uh, big old helmet. Lots of spikes and horns and things on it. Um, and a uh, little guy. Scrappy. Very scrappy. Cool. I love it. Squeegee uh, the knee biter. Because apparently goblins have a an appellation of the something. And I like to knee biter. So... Nice. All right, so basically, Squeegee has the same motivation as everybody else's. Come up here, check it out. Out of curiosity, you heard there's lots of lots of good stuff here. Um, good stuff. You heard uh, the commotion coming from around the corner there, Squeegee, um, and decided to investigate. But uh, you have a, a small little tale to tell these folks that you saw on your way up as you ascended the cliff face. Um, very, very strange thing is that you saw that the hand of Arden Vool was actually raised all the way up to the top of the cliff. Um, crazy, which was pretty insane. You've never been up to the ruins themselves before, but you, you've pl passed by the statues many a time, and you could swear that that hand was not there before. Um, and you also witnessed and were able to sneak around because of your, your goblin nature um, that there was a pitch battle going on at the base of the falls near the <laughs> near the near the the, the long stair that uh, that you and your newfound companions also went up. Um, it looked like it was between some sort of like primitive cavemen or something that, uh, they, they emerged from the cliff face itself, um, near the base on the other side of the, of the, um, falls and a small troop of about nine knights, um, who you're fairly sure by their, um, by their crests that they are knights of the Azure Shield, which is the, um, the order of which the, uh, the, the green lady of, Gosterwick, actually, her uh, she—that's her, her order, and uh, who protects her here at the at the um, in Gosterwick in the Azure Keep. Um, so it looks like someone uh, a uh, what it was known as an Arcantian Conroy was sent out, mm -hmm. um, and uh, for some reason there was some sort of battle that happened there. They the cavemen were slaughtered to a man, basically, sent the other ones running. Um, the Knights of the Azure Shield were barely harmed at all. Um, and you snuck around them, not wanting to have to deal with any of them. And you were fairly certain that they were planning on making camp in one of the caves halfway up the cliff, uh, which you guys had spotted but never really attained because you you took the shortcut up on the hand. Mm. Uh, which Was this on the, the western or the eastern side? The eastern side, the long stair. Oh, so we're right where we were. Yeah. So you noticed, um, Squeegee, that they were, that they were definitely after they were kind of cleaning up after the battle, um, that they were, like anyone would be naturally, extremely fascinated by the fact that the hand had risen up all the way, um, with much excitement and commotion, and they were they were planning on investigating. So, um, but with all of their gear, um, and horses. When did Squeegee see this? This morning or yesterday? Uh, last, yeah, yesterday. 
Yesterday. Okay, so the day that the arm went up. Mm-hmm. Someone came uh, and investigated. It, it kicked off a lot of activity, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and I it, tell you guys all this. Mm-hmm. Now you know. <laughs> uh, you are, That's uh, called uh, exposition. Uh, very, very forthcoming, my friend. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And uh, what what is it that brings you brings you up here? Oh, I run a corpse retrieval business. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? That, uh, and uh, do, do you do you find you have a lot of business uh, up here on the top of the cliff? Uh, no, you'd be my first customers. <laughs> <laughs> I see. An, an entrepreneur. I can I can respect this. You gotta, you know, gotta keep it going. So, Squeegee, uh, uh, ironically, in a bit, in a way, you as the goblin is actually by far the cleanest and mo- he- most healthy-looking person here, as everyone else. Is. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the um, uh, and for viewers out there, by the way, uh, the goblin stats that we're using for that class is detailed in the Carcass Crawler issue number one. Um, if you you can go get that on Drive Through RPG or Exalted Funeral, whatever you want. Uh, I changed it in one way that they have a wolf affinity ability, which I've basically taken away because it doesn't really fit with the Imperial Goblins and replaced it with a dwarf's ability to listen at doors. Um, so we've actually got like three people in the party who can actually listen at doors better I'm than most. Sorry, but now I feel a little triggered that my ability has been given to somebody else. You still have it. You still have it. Womp womp. Uh, well, I don't have feel bad, no abilities, so it's okay. In addition to that dwarven ability, I also have my highest score. This is crazy. Is is my charisma? charisma. And Let's take we're a look looking at, the score, at shall we? Intelligence seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. There you go. There it Which is, is how you end up in the corpse retrieval business. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. Looking at the spread here, we've got two dolts. Uh, <laughs> Hi. <and> hey. <laughs> I'm right here. And Goran and Varger are are. Passingly average. Passing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Barely. Barely. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I feel perfectly intelligent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm a good looking goblin. That's all I got to say. It's true. Actually, well, like, I can have some, some very interesting theological conversations. Only Gorin is like actively repulsive. Everyone else is like, yeah, get along with this guy. <laughs> well, <laughs> I try not to stray too much from my own abilities to live. <laughs> okay uh last question right. i have before you get you get going with your mission here um is uh what is the status of the robes um only Osric had the really nice ones are, are yeah right um the I other ones are probably all away. covered with this <laughs> sorry go ahead are you wearing those robes might as well i don't believe okay. i ever had them they're only a couple pairs right no, no i thought everybody had them one on. pair yeah, they were oh, very okay. threadbare, and I think we, I yeah. think we did put them on, but they just weren't much. I, I mean, I don't know how they, how well they would have fared after that, like shower sure. of splinters or whatever that the door did. Okay, but, um, Squeegee, these seem like relatively good. capable men um, and dwarves, uh, if a little bit uh, shaken by what occurred. Um, but All it right. looks like you may have some business here because they look hell bent on retrieving a corpse. And that's just your specialty. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely my uh, my specialty. Uh, I've uh, done this a million times. Uh. <laughs> well, we are uh, we are uh, presently and uh, quite sadly a little sh- short-handed. Oh, I guess we will still be short-handed. Uh, no offense. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah, uh, another but, genius in the party. Right on. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yes, uh, the, you know, quite frankly, uh, gentlemen, I think we can. We can all agree that we are. Uh, we do need some. We do need some help. We are kind of hurt and uh, here alone. And uh, yeah, there are some things of value down there that we need to retrieve, in- including the remains of our friend. Okay. So, uh, David, what's your as the rogue thief type fellow? You you, you mm-hmm. have a move silent, right? What is your move silent? Uh, I'll, I only have one pip and move silent. Oh. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. You think right. so I believe I believe sorry. Well this is this is Squeegee's like only skill. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, yeah. Three and six. Well, why um, don't you move silent? I, I don't recall uh well go ahead. Well I was gonna say it seems like he should he should go in the door and get all the rope on the I, ground. I've <laughs> I can't wait for you to lose two characters. I know. Please. <laughs> I just want to see Please. Snap, snap. characters. Yeah. A file in there. A 
don't actually have years. another one rolled up. So, <laughs> did you see a twinkle in my eye or something? <laughs> I, I strongly recommend. To tell. Who's, who's, who's this? You know, this is his specialty, and also we don't know him very well. But we should send him he, him in to go get the. Uh, yeah, no, it's a trial. I, I am here for it. It's I'm like, a, here it's for like it. an interview for the party. <laughs> yeah, um, we we don't really like give him the full situation. We just say, you know, see that rope? Go up real quiet, like bring it back. <laughs> It'll be fine. Pull it tight. Bring it all It'll the way back. So we can have you Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to say the meet right, and greet. The meet and it. greet takes a turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so I'm, Squeegee is going in. Yeah. So he'll take off all of his clanky uh, weapons and stuff, put them aside, and he'll go in. And he's just going to get the rope, pull it back out, and as quietly as possible, because we don't want to alert any uh, second overseers to any activity. No, you do not. No, we do not. Uh, now, I, if I remember correctly, you you kicked that trap door closed, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, but of rope, course the rope is. Let it close all the way. Yeah. It's the rope is in the the gap. Yeah, so it's not completely closed. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So really, all I have to do is kind of get that piece of rope and just back out again, right? If that's what you want, okay. We have to open the trap door. Uh, John, just uh, while this is happening, whoever doesn't have. Uh, a mirror to reflect light in there. Um, I would be looking the other way, like behind us, just mm-hmm. in case uh, any of we get visitors. We don't want to be surprised. Gotcha. Yeah. Everything else seems relatively quiet here. The sun now is at it's eleven ten, so the sun is almost directly overhead. Um, so you're you're right. you definitely have to uh, focus the mirror um, if you want any sort of like beam to to go in there. Yeah. Um, obviously, light in general will will go in, but don't forget too that the way that the um, actually, let, let's flip over to our bear here so we can see. Um, if I can find my mouse, here we go. Uh, we'll get you the expert map by drawn by Ted. That's E. Oh, I drew it. Yep. Sad note. Uh, yeah, very sad <laughs> note. Uh, but that is the look. Okay, so this is the base. The lower. Yeah. The lower. This level, is yeah. where you are right now. So right. you guys are coming here. So don't forget that there is this sort of um, postern here, right? So you go, so basically under direction of the rest of the party, Squeegee, you um, you press that one button and the portal, the the secret door slides to the side. But you're right. faced with you know one directly in front of you as well, so it's not going all the way in. Um, right. Yeah. And do you- so I need to go about ten, basically about ten feet, open a trap door to make the body easier to pull through. Grab the rope and run. Well, effectively, are you attempting to? Okay, so are are, are you going to open the second door? Um. Uh, okay. Yeah, I see where you're going. Okay, so Squeegee will open the first door, enter the small vestibule, and he will listen at that door. Right. Uh, also, who of us has has the mirror to to? Bend I, can, the I can hold it. I think I have one in my inventory. No one else does, right? Okay. Right. So I'll, I'll be I'll be beaming the back of his all right uh, head. Yeah, you're basically illu- illuminating his head. Um, and uh, Squeegee. Okay, so you're gonna listen at that door. I rolled a four. So okay. Uh, let, me um, let me get the dice thing up here. But and why don't I go ahead and roll uh, for being quiet as well? That'd be great. Which which door are you listening at right now? Balls. I rolled a five. The okay. inner. I'm loud and and deaf. Of and it. Do we, we, favor we, we never we never close this door. Okay, that's fine. Uh, uh, Ted, change oh. your name from corpse number one to Squeegee. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, remember, right right before this happened, the Wraith came up and saw the light beaming through right. all, the the door through the tra- open, all the way right. to the trap door and then yeah. stopped at the trap door and went back down. Right. So all the doors should be open. Okay, yeah, so, okay. so you don't yeah. hear, uh, you don't feel any of that coldness that uh, okay. emanated from from whence the wraith came down below. Um, and uh, yeah, the trap door is uh, shut, but a, a slightly ajar with the rope hanging out of it. The way it's shut. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll, yeah, I'll just slowly crawl up. In fact, staying low, kind of crawling along as quietly as possible mm-hmm. and uh, grab the rope that they indicated and I will shimmy my way backwards back out of the space. Okay, so Won't that... Now that rope is connected to Osric, correct? Yeah. Right, but as David pointed out, there's 
it's a 50 foot chunk of rope. Yeah, there's slack. Yeah, definitely. There's okay. a lot of slack. Yeah. yeah. So you can definitely go all the way back out if that's what you're planning to do with no that, no issue at all. Um, I think that what they're thinking is that since Osric is dead, it really doesn't matter what abuse he suffers coming through the hole. <laughs> it is not going to sound very good, I can tell you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Meaty thunking, I think, is in our future. <laughs> so that's the that's Nibiter's plan. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you get back out a certain number of feet, whatever, and it, yeah, uh, yeah. It, it, gets, out. it gets taut mm -hmm. outside. All right, I uh, I think I probably have the highest strength of the group, so I'm going to jump on this rope as well. Oh. Who has the lowest strength and wants to hold the mirror, just as a contingency? Um, um, my strength, strength is... I'm 12. Ten. It might be me. You're 10. ten. You're 10? Oh, damn. Oh. And what yeah, you, you, and, you and me, Dwarf, we're like, uh, we should go work out, you know? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Right, I, I will help pull the rope. Cool. I'm going to brace my leg against the stone of that doorway just so I have a real good leverage point. I'm going to start it even. Okay. So this is a relatively awkward thing, right? Like you're heaving a, yeah. a very heavy corpse um, with all of his pack and gear and all that sort of stuff um, into midair um, with a rope that is not meant for, you know, you're going to be it's going to be like super jagged along the side of the trap door and all that sort of stuff as you yank and pull. Sure. Um, so there's definitely a chance that it's going to break. Uh, so whoever would like to, I need you to roll me a D six. Um, and I'm going to say that uh, if you're just pulling rope, if you're just using sheer muscle, just to muscle that whole thing up, then I'm going to give it a two and six chance of, of breaking. Good question. So as soon as they start pulling on it, they're going to notice resistance I guess right you're going to say oh this is really hard to pull it feels like the rope is are they going to be able to feel that is yeah yeah definitely yeah 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 so if you guys feel like it I knee biter can go back in and do it um, try a little piece of leather under the under the oh, rope okay. between the rope and the door jam there or, or I got some chalk I can try and oh, yeah, I have oil, oil. I have oil. For it to ride on yeah. so it doesn't but only if you say something, you know, because Nebiter's right. not going to know what you're talking about until you say it. Just to keep the rope from fraying, right? Right. Because yeah. otherwise, it's going to pull in that like little crevice at the corner. Exactly. Of the yeah. Door. Like the way that the way yeah. that Varger handled the uh, what he did over uh, out in the um, the, the the tower at the base of the falls. Yeah, down down the stairs. Oh, where we pulled the. Oh, okay. Wait, does anybody have a hook? We can we can hook and pull the trapdoor open a little bit so it's not squeezing the. It's not so much about there's there's going to be very little that you're going to like. There's always going to be a chance it's going to snap because you don't have like a rigged pulley, pulley system, you know, to count counterbalances and all that sort of stuff. And you know what I mean? It's just straight right. pulling. Yeah, but um, it's a you have a basically like a thirty three percent chance of snapping if you just if you just yank the thing over the edge you know and, and it's not like the fact that the trapdoor is closed it's that it's it, the full weight of osric is being um pulled every time you yank and against the ground that. you know what i mean uh, I against mean, that it's... lip yeah yeah i'm gonna let you guys do the rope thing i i hear somebody calling me i'll be right back yeah. no problem let's just go for it let's roll it cool all right yep. that's it someone roll me a d6 david rope, david rope is your thing man yeah this, this is your mr rope, rope. I got a five. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm going to say it's uh, it's heavy going. Like it's it, you know it's a hard hard task. Um, uh, but you give it the old heave ho. Um, thinking apprehensive that maybe something will uh, attempt to pull in the other direction, perhaps. Um, <laughs> but uh, tis not the case. Uh, but it does take a full turn to get Osric's corpse up there, um, and he comes. Uh, actually, I would probably say like with. Well, by the time he um, when, when you when you raise him up to the right underside of the hatch itself, that would be a probably a stopping point where you wouldn't be actually be able to physically like flip him. Someone's got to grab edge. him. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you have to go back him. in there and grab him. Um, so. Uh, well, what uh, I think we should do is uh, fix the rope to a point. Uh outside i still think someone should have hands on the rope but that at least will be like a support like a stop gap yeah, so and I can then I, the rope around i can go try to grab uh the body okay, and if okay. You, if you, you should cannot... take your gear off so you run faster 
Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll ditch my gear. I'll, I'll get down it. to my skivvies. Or... I'll do it. You just gotta haul him over the edge. Yeah, we just gotta haul him over the edge. Yeah, I'll do it. Would you prefer doing it because you have silent, silent sneaks, sneaky silence? Have, is there, has there been any uh, sound of activity down there? Does not appear to be no. Why don't you go do it, and I'll stay on the rope so that once you get him over the edge, I can pull real hard, and you can run. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds good. Yeah, basically that sounds good. Okay. Um. So you... yeah, but I will try and sneak in again, John, if that's all right. Oh. Sure. For what it's worth, I'm curious. Oh yes, uh, I made a one on a six-sided die. Awesome. Cool. That is sneaky, sneaky, you slip squeedy. In. So he so slipped I, in. Just, just as a sorry. Well, like reach over the edge, grab his collar, and kind of haul it up. Is that kind of? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, I think so. Well, it's more like it's. I mean. You're a little goblin. I mean, hauling a body that's emitted. I mean, this is like very difficult. You know, it's like, yeah, hey, I'm as strong as a dwarf. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to be don't... supporting him by pulling the rope. So he's not doing all the weight himself. Gotcha. Yeah. We FYI. don't need to belabor it in the, in the end, you're able to yeah. um, haul uh, Osric's corpse out of there and you drag him into the sunlight. When you sure. see him, I, can come I ask out... one question? Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Just a point of clarity, because this will be something we're both engaging with in the future. Uh, move silently. I mean, aside from the fact that we really like rolling, in my understanding, it's something like an exceptional amount of stealth, as in like I am a foot behind a guard trying to move that's correct, quietly yeah. behind them. Yeah, yeah, that's the way I rule. Would this be a circumstance when move silently would even really be relevant as a roll if the thing is in another room? Yeah, or... but you don't know that. Yeah, he's, he's only rolling it because he's anticipating that maybe there's something else that might be listening. You know what I mean? That makes perfect sense. Right. Gotcha, gotcha, right. gotcha. But I do I do rule all thief stuff is like um borderline supernatural with almost all of their abilities. Mm -hmm. Um so move silently is like like Hobbit moves silently, right? Like, gotcha. like a, a, you know, gotcha. nary a yeah. breeze through yeah, the yeah, bushes sort of thing. I want a sense of how it works so that later when we're doing it we know what's kinda of going on. It makes sense. Cool. Yeah. To some extent it's sort of kind of ridiculous that I'm being quiet while the second overseer is watching a corpse float up into the air you know I mean, <laughs> there may be some indicators there's something going on but yeah, that's, a, that's a good point actually is why, as long why, as he does really busy it, thank, you, Ted. thank you for reminding that. right yeah, he's really busy the... dude he's got things to do down there he's yeah. Yeah. lots of things to oversee yeah. so yeah. when the corpse comes up and back into the sunlight you can see that it doesn't look like um it, it doesn't look like a normal corpse right it, like the the face um it, now it's only been like a few minutes right since you saw literally his soul ripped out of his body um mm -hmm. but the um he's sort of like in that mid stage of uh of donovan and last crusade right like where he's like mm -hmm, yeah, not not yeah, all yeah. the way desiccated but like the face is like super sallow sure. um the eyes are yeah. wide and staring and like protruding out of the sockets um as the as the skin of the of the eye socket has like re re receded um, and his skin has become ashen. Um, so he looks like he's basically like twice his age and riddle and, um, and uh, you know, severely desiccated basically. Well, um, friend is not good looking and not at all. He has a look of absolute staring horror um, as his last breaths were taken from him. Uh, Thankfully, all of his gear is still attached, except for whatever was in your hand, Osric, which I believe was your staff. Staff and uh, lantern. Lantern, right. Okay, so the lantern and the staff are still down there, um, but it, um, his his pack is still on. Um, oh, yeah. He he had uh, the rope, the priest robes. He had rope, oil, a couple of days of rations, the two gems. And um, if memory serves, he had s grabbed five silver pieces immediately before dying. He did. I remember that. Yeah. And also, um, I believe, was blessed with a sum of six gold pieces left from when he was rolled up. He hadn't spent mm. something like that. I'll I'll find it. A character sheet's around here somewhere. I All right. So take it. the if you want to mark down the money and the gems or. If you want to take something else? Yeah, there's two gems. Make sure it's recorded properly on your encumbrance. And uh, so do you want to just throw it on the goblins' um, gear, or are you do you need help? Um, the goblin can't not take a whole lot of gear, but he could easily carry money. Um, what do you want me to carry? I just the only thing I care about is the gems, really. Take the coins, right, for your goblin as services rendered for retrieving our body. 
right. I'll take the coins, and he'll hand the two gems to uh, to you guys to figure out what to do with. Yeah, let, and and cool. you know what? Let's learn. Let's learn from last time. Let's let's split those up. You know what I mean? You carry one. Sure. I'll carry the other one. Um, I will I think, take a more uh, valuable one. <laughs> But I think Gorand, Gorand and Avaricio should carry it because I'm going to be putting my nose in trouble too often to have the, the gyms on me. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to repeat <laughs> the last uh, time. Thanks. So, uh, Frater Avaricios, uh, with your study of, of, uh, uh, your study and knowledge of the art of the, uh, of the 12 or the 10, the 10, the modern, the modern 10, um, you, you have heard that. Um, people who have succumbed to this horrible uh, death, the legend is is that um, is that they do not become uh, subservient to the person that to the spirit that killed them until after twenty four hours have passed. Hmm. So there is a um, there still is a chance to to send Osric on to his um, his final rest um, should you do the proper ablutions. Oh. Uh this would, uh, absolutely, I would want to do this to my friend if I could. If I could save him from this terrible fate, mm. it would it would be worth taking. Um, do do would he know? Like, do is it um, uh, just performing the rites and burying him, or does it need to be done in a special place? Do we need to take him somewhere? Or can that's sort that of up him? to you. But it would I, I I picture in the realm of it would have to be like a ceremony and burial of some sort, right? Like you can't just like wave your hand over his body and be like, "All right, peace out in heaven, dude." Like you're yeah. gonna have to like cut off his head and bury it between his feet. I'm about to say, Bar Barker has his axe and he's just like, we have to cut off his head. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. have to cut off his head or he might not be dead. <laughs> he's absolutely right. That's very traditional among goblin kind. You uh, cut off the head when okay. possessed. Well, you know, it is it is fun. We we can cut his head off, sure, but uh, <laughs> uh, he won't mind. He does. He's not. He didn't use it that much before, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, maybe what we can do um, is <laughs> let let us try to find a place where we can, uh, you know, bury his remains, sanctify them. The, I think we can mm. we can keep him from turning into the, a servant of this thing if we if we sure. if we treat his remains properly. Um, uh, head chopped off. Once you're dead, nobody cares. It's fine. You know what'd be hilarious is if you wrapped him up like a mummy, put him in the palm of the hand, and sent it down. Just... <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> Cause some commotion at the bottom. Uh, so he, he he might he might slow us down a little bit, but you know what? Uh, I, I think it would be worth to worth it to, to give it a try, at least in in you know in his manner. He seems like the right thing to do. You know, he's a yeah, good yeah, sure. All right, uh, I'll use my hand axe to go cut down a couple like small saplings, so that we can build a stretcher. Okay, Bird. sounds good. So, I will uh, I will help you. All right, so you notice, um, uh, Gorin, whenever uh, Gorin and Squeegee, whenever you, you Squeegee, are you wielding an axe as well? Is that what you have? I have a hand axe, yeah. Okay, so when you guys uh, lay your axes into the small saplings, um, the roots of the great oak tremble like like drumming fingers. Like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. You know what, maybe we just and carry a, him. A deep yeah. creaking sounds from the, yeah, yeah. We can just I, take his, I, his little mummy arms over our shoulders like a backpack. I'm not fond of trees, but I'll stop whacking the tree with my axe. So I'll kind of put the piece back in. <laughs> it's a good tree. Yeah. <laughs> Wrap it I, up with a little band-aid. I, um, okay. Nice okay, so uh, uh, another turn goes by as you um, collect Osric's gear. Um, and what do you plan to do now? It's about 11.30. You're the, you're the expert. Avaricios, tell us what you want to do. Uh, well, personally, I think it would be nice if we could if we could get him uh, away from this place. Obviously, there is some some definite evil. Um, uh, can, can can you throw up the city map on the screen again? Mm -hmm. We're looking instead of looking at. Yep. yep. Thank you. I, said I think served. I think Osric would uh, would love to be uh, yeah, you know, so buried by some trees. Maybe you know. Uh, Why don't we give you to the big tree in the front? With the mouth. <laughs> I don't think that's what Osric had in mind, but yeah, that's I, I find it an intriguing idea. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if that feels like like feed, feeding is maybe fertilizer, I suppose, but I don't know if that feels like really caring for him. 
what if um what if we find a, a... he looks around he sees like, a... like the devastation on one side and the devastation on the other side there can't this can't possibly be the first person who's died up here there must be a graveyard somewhere there's also like in you you know the one thing that's noticeable of course is off to your off to behind you is the twinkling of the uh, the well uh, <laughs> throw it down in there and just create trouble at the <laughs> just, bottom just that not, not everything is normal as you're looking around here right yeah um once in a while you see like a twinkle i would say like way far up the road where you know the the guard's armor might be reflecting uh, up in the towers there just a quick little glint of mail. Well, let's see. I, I can think of two different two different opportunities. We, we could carry him outside of these outside of these walls. It seems like there is a lot of stuff going on inside these walls. Um, uh, you know, a lot of opportunity for his uh, remains to be desecrated. Um, what if we were to do it outside of these walls? Find a nice place, uh, maybe eat near the inn, um, uh, or. Yeah. Uh, let me let me just see like how John how heavy is he like how how many slots yeah you know, it's important to know how many slots your friend takes up what he's probably about he's probably about like 180 to 190 pounds Ted right but you I mean he's all desiccated and and oh well how many right? if we just need to know the slots um uh he, I mean he, he, he can't be carried right like on a single person like you'd have to you'd have to drag him not even fireman drag carried him. Huh? I think, I think it makes sense. <clears throat> Sorry. Hmm? I think it makes sense uh, to follow up on Avarosius's instinct to take the main road towards the end, because that'll be the yeah. easiest path to carry a body on and bury him near the end, maybe in a nice field. I think that's yeah. fine. I think that's good. And then just hoist him on two of our shoulders, you know? Yeah, somebody can fire him and carry him, and someone else can carry that person's. We could also use gear. a hand axe to dismember him, and then he'd be very portable, but. <laughs> Too grotesque. Easy offers to carry yeah, the head. Too grotesque. All right. All right fair enough. Yeah, let's walk yeah, him not, back. Uh, not for the kids. Bury him by the inn. I think so. So That's take him back, that, that, back up the main street. This should be pretty easy. Plus, you know, the, the, the guards there in case you know there's any trouble, they could come help us. And then out, outside the gate, the, between the main gate and the and the inn, would be a good place. I think. Okay. Let me just do a quick measurement here. Uh. Maybe on the other side of the road from the inn, though, just because they're really not going to be happy if they get a glimpse of him being all desiccated and bug-eyed and looking like a a wraith. Well, the guards there. are going to watch. The guards are going to watch us do all this if we go through the guard gate. Uh, well, we can, you know, we can we can take the um, uh, the the robes that aren't that great and, and cover. You know, give him a little shroud. I think Avaricious mm, would, yeah. would do the the thing where you take the you know clo try to close You're the sure. eyelids. Uh, okay. You, you take the good robes off of him and shroud him in the old robes, so no one sees. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get to wear yeah. the good robes. I'm sorry, you're dead. Okay, so you're gonna go straight up the main road, then, right? Yeah. Okay, and then yeah. like cut across to the to the end. All right. So um, if you go that route, it's gonna take you uh, a little bit more than four turns, but we'll we'll say you're well. No, I'm gonna drop you down to a slower rate. Uh, so I'll just call it, I'll call it six turns if you're cool with that. Um, I'm very cool. If that sounds reasonable, I should say, I don't really care if you're cool with it. Um, <laughs> all right. Let me just see if you see anything on the way. I don't know if you've actually come down this road yet. Um, I think we did this morning. Didn't, didn't we come down the main road this morning? Yeah. Cause we said goodbye to the guards. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Okay, so I'm going to call it uh, six turns. Give me one moment. Checking a thing, checking a thing. Mm -hmm. What am I rolling here? That's what I'm rolling. Okay. Six turns. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is now um, 12.30 in the afternoon. Um, as you approach the broken head. Oh, I should say, actually, like, halfway in between, you pass through the gates, the guards, like, call down to you, and they, like, they, they express dismay um, as they recognize uh, who you are and who you're carrying. 
and tell you to hurry along to the to the to the inn, and they kind of doff their caps, uh, doff their helmets, and and a sign of respect as you head back to the inn. Um, we we would ask them is there is there is there a, a small burial ground? I'm sure something this tragic is not the this can't be the first time. Uh, there is. It's it's hard rocky soil here. They tell you basically, um, but and there, um, we don't have anything proper, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, Estelle can can g- give your man uh, the la- can give your can say a, can say a word over over his plot, um, uh, if 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 you'd like. Oh, I, I mean, I should I should be able to do that too. I mean, they they don't know that you're a priest. What you can't tell? Look at that. <laughs> and I've got what are you talking about? <laughs> got the little collar and everything. <laughs> if it's hard, rocky soil, I think that Osric would have no trouble with you guys raising a long barrow uh, instead of uh, <laughs> actually burying him. Osric doesn't have a lot of votes. <laughs> Aww, come I'm, on. I'm about 10 minutes from burning the corpse alive. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Let's get so, this over. Right, well, yeah, let's just go find. Yeah, go yeah. go to the inn and ask where you know where where they've done this before. I can I can do the the uh, uh, the commencement. Uh, you know, it's fine. So you go back to the inn. Um, Kronos and Estelle and like the 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 hands there are all suitably, um, you know, shocked to see you know that you you've brought back Osric dead. Um, and they tell you as you inquire at, uh, as to, um, you know, what do you do with dead bodies whenever they come? And they say literally like everyone who has come through here and gone into the ruined city, if if someone dies, they are left there. You know what I mean? Like no one bothers to like attempt to recover the corpses because usually like the manner of death was so awful <laughs> that everyone just yeah, yeah. <laughs> skedaddled. Right. Um, so they don't they don't have like a cemetery plot or anything like that. But they mm-hmm. said that you can use any of the grounds here to. To do whatever you do, whatever you need, basically. And we, we um, will start one. Hopefully, this will be the first and the last. You will not see us again with this problem. Uh, the fact doors are like all just like oh, like oh my god, like don't you know? Ugh. I don't need reality that much reality. In me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. uh, set Ted up in the corner of the bar and have a wake or what? <laughs> <laughs> Put a drink in his what? hand and a smile on his face. We've, we've yet to consider the most important asset, which is having a dummy body for all of our antics. So <laughs> we, we can weaken at Bernie's this. Weekend at Osric's. Yeah, weekend at Bernie's. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, uh, that said, it's it's like midday. There's, um, you know, they're just basically maintaining the place right now. They're not really, nothing's really raucous or anything going on. The peddler is still there, although he is tending to his wagon right now out in the stables. And it look like he, looks like he's hitching up his. Um, his uh, his two two horse team um about to go. So um, there's that going on. The factors are still there. They're a little bit disappointed. You can see like they're they look suitably sympathetic, but they're kind of disappointed that you came back and didn't bring back any statuary. Instead, you brought back a life. You brought back a corpse instead. Not well. I mean, it's it's next door to what <laughs> statuary. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So you can. You want to do a? We don't have to get into it. Do you want to do a barrow? Or you want to do a burial? It doesn't really matter. Either or. Yeah, either. Oh, it's probably going to kill the rest of the day for us. I would, I would think, right? Like one way or the other. It's up to you. Just pile rocks up on him. Take a few hours at minimum. Yeah, yeah. This, you know, the, whatever the minimum is. You know, the the main thing is that you know, all we want to do is um, make sure that he is properly blessed and pl- and placed to rest, so that he will not rise again. So. Got it. Yep. So yes, you can do that certainly. Um, Estelle offers to, uh, alongside you, um, also like, uh, convey blessings and all that sort of stuff, but she, she defers to you and it seems genuine, like she's not trying to step on your toes, but, she, um, but when she hears the manner of death, she, she agrees that, uh, a proper ceremony is definitely necessary. Yeah, uh, she, she can, she can join in as long as there is no fee. There's no fee. <laughs> yeah. She's not going to charge it. <laughs> Uh, I'm okay. Mindful of these things, you know. These, these, these you get the bill when you check out of the room. Uh, okay, so you um, you perform this pretty solemn ceremony over a barrow that you've erected. Um, yeah. And uh, I'm only going to track turns if you guys plan to go back into the city today. Are you going to do that? I don't know. By the time we bury him, it's probably going to be pretty late at that. I think point. we should sleep our second night here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna John. Like I'm gonna player. leave a silver coin on each of his eye on each of his eyelids. Mm. Nice, cool. Thanks, man. I, I would like to ask where the peddler is going. Is he going back to town? Where's this wagon traveling? Uh, he's going north to Whiskinlands. Is his plan? Oh, is he looking for any guards? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually yeah, we probably we, probably would. We've decided not to go into Urbanville. Yeah. You're on a campaign. Well, thanks, everybody. It'd be fun too. What if, what if we, we, what if we did a road rats trip and instead there was like a wraith lord in a basement <laughs> and that's, and a stone golem and <laughs> now I just want to go fight bandits on the on the freeway. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. No, he he would definitely appreciate some guard. I mean, he would pay you too. Uh, well, What's his round trip I... looking like? <laughs> if, uh, uh, some something I'm curious about is. This tower that's on the side of the river, like that's right at the edge, mm -hmm. uh, that's near there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, after the, you know, after we uh, intern the, uh, the remains, uh, uh, what 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 is up with the, you know, that section of the uh, of the wall there, uh, right by the river, the the the, the ruined tower. Uh, okay, so they they, Chronos uh, tells you that. Um... Um, they're two obviously large towers that guarded the, uh, the actual river entry into Garden Bull, um, back in the day. But, um, the, he goes like, they, like other places, you know, it was suffered really badly when it was ravaged. Um, so, uh, he doesn't know much about them other than that they're just ruined towers, you know, but the river still flows through like it always okay. has over the ages. You want uh, any boat? You want to go for a little explore there, uh? Father, well, you know it. It is right there. I'm thinking, you know, it can't. Uh, there's no way it can be that dangerous. It is right there. It's right over there. I mean, you can see it from our our, our room. I mean, how bad? Could Let's it go be? do it. I'm fine with that. I'm 100 percent sure nobody ever died from just going on in. Let's go on in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to say that. Um, uh, let's see. Like late afternoon. By the time we get there, right? Well, I was, yeah, I'm going to say like the funeral probably took like three hours to build a barrow. Yeah, yeah so, like four o'clock. Um, that's going to put you around like, yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay. So we'll start Something to go minutes. check out before the sun, you know, before the sun. Yeah, so the sun so, is westering, but it's still plenty plenty bright. Um, real quick, guys. Did anybody want Osric's oil? Yes. Two flasks of oil? Yes. And there was a one torch. Oh, I can take. I can put that back in my bundle. Okay. Take a torch. Okay. Let me cross these off. And uh, I'll take your rations. Yep. Take. There were two days of rations. Sweet. Uh, our oil flasks each one slot. Yeah, they're like, like, liter bottles. I think of oil, kind of thing. And uh, the rations, you can have up to six in one slot, right? I don't remember. Um, and there's a there's a water skin, if anybody wants it. And a um, squeegee would like to take the tinderbox. That's cool. I know if I can, I can take the, I can take the, uh, I can take the water skin and equip it. Then I would have two, have one more slot I have something I can equip before I get the. Uh... What about your uh, plus one flame uh, flame brand? Can we have that? I think the uh, overseer claimed that one. Sorry, man. Right. Now, before who, you... who took the robes? Who took the robes? I don't think anyone's wearing them, but we should definitely have them. Right. Because yeah, so I mean, it's it's good because yeah, obviously it's go like back in there at some point. Yeah. Uh, Chronos asked you if you were if you spotted any sign of um, his. Uh, of his missing hands over at the Tower of Scrutiny. They just see what happened to him. We didn't actually see his buddies, right? Because we just nope. saw the destroyed bodies, but they'd been much older than a week, right? They were all just skeletons. That's right. You saw all we saw was skeletons, but that's not necessarily even the same skeletons as that he sent over. Yeah, that's also, what I'm saying. That's it was like a pile. Were they like all dismembered? And yeah, yeah. Like, loads of bones. A lot of them were. But remember that whenever you entered the secret door, it was pretty evident that no one had been had right. ever found this secret door. So they died right. in some upper yeah. level that never even made it down, right? Sounds likely. And you guys also were stymied by the actual weird 
thing, you know, that was on the the bronze doors, right? The language and stuff like that. Well, now we're really screwed in that department. Right. The, the, the question I'm, I'm making you ponder is, is like, where are these guys? Like, it, like it, you're, you, you weren't smart enough to figure out the bronze doors and you're professional adventurers, right? That you also found this, the secret door, which they obviously didn't find. So where are they? It's known that they went there, you know? Well, we didn't we assume that they went in through the like they climbed the outside and came in through the top. Mm. Yeah, I think we have that we, information. I, somehow. I can't remember how we learned that. Well, you saw the open windows for one thing. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that was all right. All right, okay. well, let's go check out this river tower. Okay, yeah, so, so we, yeah, you... we, we tell him we don't know. Uh, there were a lot of bodies, but we didn't see anything that looked... ah, such a shame. I'll have to say a word for them as well again. All right. It was, it was quite horrific, and I'm going to have bad dreams for quite a while. Honestly. I, I will tell you that it's a very bad idea, probably, to send anyone else to that tower. Uh, it seems to after be after our way. experiences there, we can only imagine what your group must have run into. Well, we hope we won't say the same about the tower you're going to. Then we'll keep the beds warm for you. You're paid for them. Blimey! But uh, God, God's willing, we'll see you in a few hours. And uh, if you hear screaming and and running footsteps, that will be us. <laughs> we'll keep the doors unlocked well into the night just in case the worst happens and you come back with another body between you um you uh Not it. you head back over there to about and so we'll say around 4 p.m you actually arrive um so as you approach this area here um uh you can you could see it from the inn as well that that the swift river lives up to its name it moves extremely quickly uh southwards through that gate funneling through um, and the East Tower, which is the one that you're approaching, uh, appears to be mostly intact. It's about 30 feet tall. Um, uh, at least the East and South sides are. There's a, there's a steep slope of rubble and debris that actually leads um, from where you guys are standing uh, up to those walls, like a, like a, a whole bunch of rubble like basically fell. Um, but uh, uh, but yeah, it looks relatively secure, the rubble pile. That's what you see when you kind of approach. Is But there is some tower intact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Do we see there... doors, windows, crenellations, anything of that? Uh, let's see. Do we see wraiths? No, you don't. Uh, oh, do we get any of those weird cold winds? Because that's right. what I've learned. Yeah, there's a. It looks like there was crenellations wind. at the top at one point, but uh, some of them are crumbled. Um, a few windows, but but pretty utilitarian, you know, like, like arrow slits, basically. Mm. And uh, uh, what did you? Uh, is there a, a, a door visible, John? I didn't hear what you, what you said. That you... Uh, there is. You can kind of see on the south. Um, you'd have to kind of walk around a little bit, like basically right up against the bank of the river, um, on the southern side, facing into the city. Nice. There does appear to be a, uh, a, a door of some sort. Yeah. I'm gonna approach okay. that door. Uh, so looking at the door, you do see that it, um, it's basically open. Um, and it looks like the rubble that from the blown out walls, uh, from some of them has that, like, like some of it, like basically formed this like rubble strewn pile that was on the Eastern side. Some of it actually collapsed inward into the tower itself, but the way in which it actually crumbled, like some of the beams and stuff like that actually formed like, um, a, a rugged chamber within, do you know what I mean? Like the way it mm -hmm. fell just sort of like actually allowed it to actually, uh, you know, like not just pile onto the floor. There's actually like an open chamber within. Um, about, about 10 by 18 feet, roughly. Cool. Um, and you can see that it looks like other people at some point also noticed that this was actually like, like a habitable spot, right? Because in the center of that, um, is, uh, what looks to be a, um, the remnants of a cook fire and some other stuff in there. Like, cool. can I go sniff around that fire and see if yeah, I can see any, uh, stuff. refuse? Yeah, yeah sure. it's not recent. Well, yeah, yeah, a day, two weeks, a year. Um, it looks pretty old. You can't really determine, but it's right. not not with like within a week. Uh, definitely the remnants. Um, there's like a battered bucket there, and there's actually like a small stack of firewood that is actually dry. 
uh, hey, so John, one, this is one, where one, I'm sleeping tonight, baby. <laughs> what? Right? So one one more question. Um, you know, there there was a lot we've noticed in terms of like this uh, divide in different types of damage uh, on the east side of that main boulevard mm -hmm. bisected by the pyramid, and on the west side. Mm -hmm. On the west side, so far, if I'm remembering correctly, this is all like um, uh, like fiery explosion, right? Like yeah, there's a lot of black, fiery, yeah, blackened rocks and things like that. Yeah, and and um, and that kind of stops at the at the wall, right? So pretty much, right? Yeah. So, so there's okay, not I, there's I, not a lot of indication of fire damage here. You know what I mean? It looks like time or right. some, some sort of other cataclysm cause it to but like on the eastern side where like the walls are like blown out right like in a certain direction like that's not the case here this looks like you know typical ruins okay okay is there uh, um, I... go ahead david no no you you well i just so we we can look inside we see a 10 by 18 space with the you know rough the beams of Prevented total collapse. Mm -hmm. Does there appear to be additional tower above that? Uh, or th th there is still walls up above that. Like it looks like the tower was originally like forty feet, and the the, the remaining uh, walls, which are the east and the south, are about thirty feet tall. Uh, but the right. other the other walls have basically collapsed and were in collapse. So there is okay. there is actually height above you, but it's basically impassable because it's just choked with rubble. Yeah. But the way it fell, like with the right. beams like crossing, and it's like formed like this chamber. Right. Okay. Uh, so we could climb like up, to, but um, not to enter a room. We'd just be right. There's no the rooms rubble. per se. It's just just Got choked it. rubble all the way up to the top. All right. Then we we I'd look like up. We don't. And sorry. I was just no. going to say we. I, I just want to check. We look up. We don't see any spider webs. We don't hear any uh, like sturges like crawling around. Not you can tell. No, we don't see a dragon's. It's ass, mostly the like sound of the river down. rushing by. Right. Okay. And and the air is definitely like humid. You know, relatively moist. But David was. What did you want to do, David? I am in the room. <laughs> right. So I am. I, the, 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 what I would like to do is, knowing that we've often found trap doors in the base of these towers, I'd like to kick around some dirt and see if there are any trap doors. And I would also like to see if anything is stowed in the firewood pile that someone might have like left for later. Basically, just doing a thorough search of the area, yeah, we should in particular, with those items. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, no, it looks like this um, was a well set up like little camp um yeah. so it doesn't look like anything untoward happened here so anyone who was here picked up their stuff and left basically Cleaned up. all right uh well this is a great if we can't afford a place to sleep uh a place to return to if we want to sit watch while we're doing it guys yeah. john does it um, look like we could close that door and make it somewhat secure uh yes nothing there's no lock, right? Like you could close it, so the elements would you would be protected from the elements, but um, not necessarily from anyone who wanted to get in. Okay, but you know, maybe we could like rig something. But it's yeah. it's it's solid enough. So we yeah, can yeah, okay. definitely. Cool. It, it is like uh, as you and Varger both surmised, it is a, a it's a very good place to um to sleep, and it is and it's like within walking distance easily of the inn. You know what I mean? Like it's literally like right there, you know. So we could use the inn's outhouse, for example, and then. <laughs> one back right um you said stuff in the fire john are there any like bones from cooking or anything like that in there no okay no more and the, uh what anything simple. in the in the bucket you mentioned there was a bucket it's Nothing not the a poop bucket. bucket is it nope it's just a solid wood bucket with an iron handle okay. um but no. nothing inside uh back outside across the way there's another tower is there any sort of uh, remnant of a uh, juncture, a bridge, a connection point? Yeah, so uh, nothing that looks like you could use, uh, but it yeah. definitely looks like if you if you if you look at the other tower. Um, yeah. So uh, when you look across the river, okay, first of all, you see the western tower. The western tower also looks like it was obviously the same exact proportions as as the eastern tower, but the way in which it's been demolished is completely different. So the top thirty feet of the Western Tower have been utterly demolished. So there's mm. literally just a 10 foot tall shell um, that, uh, that you know, and in, in from this distance, you can kind of see like there's mounded rubble like inside that shell, like literally like a mound, right? Cause like 30 mm. feet worth of tower just basically fell in. Um, uh, so just remember like the one that you're in is relatively tall, like 30 feet in, in a couple of sections, but this, the other one across the river is like a little 10 foot guy, right? Um, yeah. Now, on your tower, 
on the western side that looks like uh, that is facing the river itself. It looks like there mm -hmm. is a small stone piece that looks like it once was the beginning of uh, of a buttress or arch yeah. way. Okay, but that's like been completely sheared off, right? But you can easily figure out that that was probably some sort of um, span that led across, right? Sure. Um, but but the but the western one is completely demolished, so you know it doesn't reach anywhere. All right. Well, so we're not going to ford here, but uh, looking downriver, uh, can I uh, see clearly? And if so, can I see the bridge that I see on the map, or is that too meta? Uh, assumption. What, what bridge are we talking about? Right the here. bridge over the river. There was a oh. mansion, uh, sort of a uh, yeah, this can be a ping? center of the river that we spotted earlier. Hold on, I'm trying to. On the little island with the tower. There's actually one there's above two of them. There's there. one north of it. Uh, oh, yeah, the little guy right there. There's one north of it that's closer. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry, I couldn't get my... Yeah, you could probably see that one. I would say that your vision would be obscured to the other one. Um, let me see what we yeah. got there. Mm -hmm. um, All I'm going to do is just point it out and say, hey, if we want to go over there, we could tomorrow. So, one moment. Reticulating spines. <laughs> I suspect uh, party members, friends, uh, uh if, it, if it is possible, if it is possible that there are many entrances to this okay. vast dungeon below. First oh, of all, okay, when you're peering out that way, you can see right. Mm -hmm. oh, let me zoom in for our viewers. Who, uh, sorry, podcast listeners, you're just gonna have to imagine. Um, Use your theater of the mind. Right here is actually a broken span. Oh, okay. For one thing. Okay. But your eyes are immediately drawn to where you could actually cross the river, which is right here. Um, uh, that appears to be a surprisingly slender bridge made by okay. uh, what looks like, you know, ex expert masonry. Um, uh, what draws your eye, of course, is the fact that it is still intact amidst all this other destruction. Um, and uh, slender by, and what I mean by that is it's only approximately about eight feet wide. Um, and the parapet no. itself is only a only a foot wide. Um, uh, yeah, so it's just uh, it just kind of stands out because it's it, you know it's it, it's resisted all the destruction and it also fronts like the the majestic ruins of that 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 large building that large what it looked like to be a, a important government structure or a palace of some sort. Yeah. Uh, uh, with that in mind, you know, when I climbed the obelisk earlier, there were a couple very prominent landmarks I saw. That was one of them. The sort of a state to the south was another, etc. I just want to like uh, mentally note, or I can just say to the group, like, if there were uh, uh, subterranean entrances, a giant palace might be a pretty likely place for it to, to exist if you're trying to go down. So if you want a close, you know, entry point, that might be something worth exploring in the morning. You also notice, too, that um, um, when you're looking down there where the river forks, um, that it appears to lose much strength on its eastern bend, which is the span that uh, the bridge is. Um, yeah. The western bend uh, is uh, quite rapid. Hmm. Like the still, still quite rapid. Little... I should actually get you. Um, yeah. Let me see if I can find an actual width of the river here, so you can make some. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm curious about uh, is the uh, the the broken bridge. How far that gap is. Mm -hmm. is it five feet? Is it ten feet? Yeah, I'll get you that. We too. jump it. Mm -hmm. There's actually or, not, or uh, actually, like, I can just look at the map. Our, I guess we toss a dwarf over it. You know that so, kind of thing. No, with, it, with the sections of river that you're looking at, we'll just you know it varies relatively, but it's uh, roughly like forty-five to fifty feet wide. It's a wide okay. river. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You'd have to build a catapult to get a dwarf over it. That's right. Now, I do actually have the exact distance for that span, that broken span there. So give me one second there. Well, it's to chop the wood for the catapult outside the walls, I think. A lot of references. It also this. looks like we could, we could just walk over and look at that one. It's, I'd like to go look at the broken so, one just to, before yeah, broken, it gets dark. You can easily tell from, from here because it's, you know, it's, like I said, there's not a lot of, veg, you know, uh, obscuring vegetation. So, anyways, the Shatterstone Bridge um, has a 15 foot gap between its surviving mm -hmm. segments. So that yeah, is not know. that's not insurmountable, right? Um, it's a right. you know, especially over a 50 foot span. So there's actually a good deal of that bridge that is still intact. Is the river deep? 
Uh, yeah, it's deep and fast. Uh, at least, yeah, it, it is. You would you would know that. It's it, it would be extremely bad for you if if you fell into the river. Let's put it that way. Like you, you can you can just tell by like how how quickly it's moving, how choppy the waters are. Um, that it um, uh, you would you would probably not. You, it's unswimmable. We'll put it that way. Is it worse than having your soul ripped out? No, no that's a definitive <laughs> no. Not as bad okay. as that. Okay. That would be so a now we have a Are you stop being such a baby about that? <laughs> it's just your soul, man. It's a mark of pride. Not everyone gets to dive that way. I don't know that I've ever had a though. character get eaten by a wraith before. It's pretty cool. In like 40 years of gaming. At least props that you actually retrieved the body, though. I had to double check that. I was like, oh, they're actually going to go for the body. So I was like, I just assumed that Osric was just going to become a wraith. You know what I mean? But um, <laughs> but you guys went the what extra mile. So, okay. Anyways, well, what do you do? All right. And are, have we ascertained that there are no trapdoors in this tower? You have spent uh, two turns in this tower right now uh, with no luck. All right. I think it's just a campsite. Guys, it's a little bit late in the day to try and venture into the city again. No, that's fine, city. I know uh, we're going to sleep at the end tonight. The All right. Oh, you're talking about. Oh, I see. Sorry. The bridge is only um, it's about about 75 feet away. Oh, I said we go oh, to the one to the <laughs> island with the tower. The broken one. Oh, no, the broken one. Oh, the broken one. The broken the, one, yeah. What did you call it? Yeah, Shatter's you guys want to scout that out. That's I'm cool with that. The Shatter's Span. Oh, yeah. uh, while we walk over that way, I'm just going to go say goodnight to a kid, and I'll be right back. Okay, goodnight, kid. Should we take a break? Let's take a break. Want to take a break? Let's take a break, yeah. folks. We'll be back okay. on our way to the Shatter's Span. See you in a bit. Adios. Okay, and we're back. So what is the plan as you gaze south towards the Shattered Span? Um. Okay, so we want to go look at the Shatter's Span, just so we kind of you know, know what it is in mm -hmm. case it's useful information or a piece of danger that we should know about. Okay. And then so, we'll go back to the inn, talk, have dinner and, and talk to the innkeeper about the Island. Okay. With cool. the tower and the, the right. ruins there. So, um, you don't see that way. You could just tell me what you do when you redo it. It's no big deal. All right. So you, yeah. you, you guys head down to the, um, to the shattered span, about yeah. 75 feet away. Um, the river is rushing, rushing through it. Um, but mm -hmm. high above it, um, and as as I said, it looks uh, this looks to be like a sturdy stone bridge, um, which uh, but it has collapsed into the river. So there's a 15 foot wide gap, yeah, um, across it. But it's it's unmarked. Um, uh, it looks to be relatively when I say sturdy, I actually meant not sturdy. It actually looks to be relatively fragile, just because it's it's deteriorated so much. Um, but yeah. are there any? Uh... Like, is it really just kind of like a... Yeah, it's like, a, like an arch, thing? but it, it has a parapet. Like, it looks like it was meant to, mm -hmm. you know, you keep people from falling off, you know. So there's some space underneath the arch by the banks, right? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, you could we safely go and look under the bridge? You know, are there any trolls living there, for example? <laughs> no, no trolls. Yeah, it's very okay. wet under there, but there doesn't appear to be anything except, you know, scrub brush and... Um, Water plants mm -hmm. and things like of that nature. Anything mm -hmm. interesting along the bank, John? Like little, you know, holes that things can come out of, or <laughs> nothing, nothing untoward. Um, I guess okay. with a with a swift running river like this, the banks would be very sheer, right? Am I wrong about that? They like they'd be very probably, punchy. yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, but you could literally like just like walk right off it, right into the river, but then you'd be swept away and downstream. Mm -hmm. Right, we don't do that. Yeah, not on the list. Basically, I just want to make sure that this isn't a source of uh, something lurking here. That if we were to sleep in that tower one night, no, you know, that's wise. No. But this does or, look uh, like, at least, is in like the northwestern section. This looks to be the only viable means of um, crossing over to the to the west. Mm -hmm. um, if you could figure out a way to span that, like this is like the the shortest mm -hmm. distance to actually get across the river. Yeah, that makes you know? sense. And let, okay. Unless you go all the way but down to the to the to that slim. Uh, remarkable bridge down right. further south, which we yeah. might do. Yeah. And, uh, so why don't we why don't we walk back to the inn? But let's go to the tower and then walk along the rubble of the wall till we hit that path, and just kind of scope that out, just so we know. Sure. And then go back to the inn. Yep, that's not a problem. Uh, so. l last question about the about the the shattered bridge there, John. Mm -hmm. There's no like decoration or um, 
I get, does it look like a fa- was was a fancy bridge or a pedestrian like you know? No, like it looks like it was a, a. I don't have an exact measurement, but it's wide enough that it looks like it was uh, a. Um, you know, it, could, it, it, it there's nothing. It's very utilitarian and wide enough that okay. like like uh, carts can move along it with a team of horses. Okay. Strong enough to okay. hold that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So heading back towards the end um, and skirting along the walls, the walls are um, heavily ruined here. Numerous spots yeah. to to um, to climb over at any point. But you get to that path and it's it's really nothing. Um, you know, th- this entire t- like as you as you head eastwards towards that path, um, the the sound of the river fades away, and you can actually hear from a distance like the echoing calls of like the 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 stable hands and the and the grooms that are working there and and stuff like that coming. So like you're out, this is all sort of like within the realm of the of the inn, right? Like within their watch area. Um, and so uh, yeah, after a few hours, you uh, well, less than an hour actually, you you come come back so you would that would take you about um i don't know just a couple turns i'd say so we'll we'll call it uh yeah it's about uh 440 right now all right actually now i'm gonna i'm gonna boot it up to five because you went down to the bridge and looked around yeah so i'm gonna call it an even five <coughs> which is coincidentally dinner time early dinner yeah there you go Okay, just checking a thing here. Don't don't worry about it. Don't you worry at all. Don't worry about the thing. Okay. All right. Uh, you're back at the end. They are very pleased. They're like, oh, you're back in one piece. So I guess there's nothing to that tower then. Did you find like anything? Somebody used to live there? In the tower? Yeah. Not that I'm aware of. Why'd you find some remnants or something? Any signs? Old campfire. Oh, can't find it all. Well, yeah. you never know who's going to be holing up there. Actually, it's good to know if there's something that maybe living that close to us, and maybe they're a bunch of cheapskates didn't want to pay the rent to sit the broken head. You Are just you... narked on us, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you just on us. Well, I sort of thought it might be useful to know if, like, oh yeah, that's where our uh, you know prize fighter boxer lives when he's in town. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna <laughs> right. beat us all to death for sleeping in his campfire there. And... Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, it's it's nothing really of of uh, of concern. But you know what we what we did see when we were down there is uh, we looked down the river. Uh, we're very curious about that uh, that island that is in the middle of where the river kind of forks. Oh, the, I. Uh, uh, yeah, I can tell you about that. <laughs> Give me a tell second. us about the island, oh innkeeper. <laughs> called um, it's it's in the middle of the East River. It's called. Um... <laughs> uh, I gotta check a couple things here. Give me one moment. Where is the in? Where are you in? There you are. <clears throat> He told you about the, yeah, okay, got it. Right. And so I guess, he, hmm, sorry. We should all probably uh, to you know lubricate his willingness to talk. We'll probably have to order drinks, right? Oh no, he's 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 very free with. Uh, he's, okay. He's got he's totally happy to tell you what what he possibly knows. And now, unfortunately, he doesn't know what what he tells you is that they're um, on that tile in the middle of the river there. Um, was the old donjon, is what I've heard folks tell. There's an old curtain wall that opens up to the north, and there's a bailey within the middle of it. Now, uh, people have been keeping it close to the chest, but as I said, I only know of two entrances down to the caverns. That's at the p- top of the pyramid, and on the cliff face itself on the western side. But if I was a petting man... Those are pretty secure ruins, and I'm sure that they had plenty of basements. It being a dungeon and all. <laughs> there might, yeah, be yeah. A, might be an entrance or two down to the lower caverns. <laughs> that's, that's not uh, where the dragon lives, is it? No, that's far to the southwest. <laughs> right. One of the great right, powers. Right. Look for the so wyverns. I, I didn't want any dungeons wyverns. and dragons. You know, I can take one <laughs> or the other. You talk to Crestor next. Yeah, yeah. Keep a low profile. Yeah. Are there any tunnels or trolls down there? <laughs> Not that I monster know. mazes. <laughs> mm, all right, all right. Uh, gonna, you could take the there's a there's a slim span there that you can cross. 
yeah, yeah. get you over there. Well, Do you, you I, don't know anyone who's mucked around over on the island. That was what I was going to ask as well. Uh, yeah. Have there been other adventurers who have, who have tried to uh, search that place? They've so, died and died. Um, one of the, uh, the, the factors overhears you. Um, uh, this one is, uh, let me give me a second here. I got his name. Where are you? Yeah, bastard. Right. So this is, um, this is, so you met Chrysarius three legs who had sort of like the, the, the black page boy haircut. And then you briefly met someone he was talking to that his name, he cut his name was, uh, uh Finitior Stonehands, who was bald, uh, with kind of cherubic cheeks. And mm -hmm. the, the third one, the third one has bright red curly hair that sprouts out from his, from his head. And his name is Godric the Wise. And Godric, Godric the Wise uh, kind of uh, ambles over, kind of walks like this in his robes, and he, he's like, I, Kronos may not have heard, but I've heard, heard from many a man who, is, uh, who swears to it. None, they've heard it from other men, so you take it for what it's worth. But what I've heard is that there are numerous guardians of stone that guard the entrance to that place and thwart all who attempt to enter within. Wait, we've heard of Guardians sounds of Stone before. Sounds yeah, ridiculous to me. The dude that almost bashed us to death in the basement of the town. <laughs> now far be it for me to prevent you from interacting with, you know, Guardians, uh, you know, stone guardians. It sounds like statues to me, but these men swore that they did not resemble statues at all, faceless and cruel and rough-hewn. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Yeah, and these uh, these stone guardians they uh, they attacked. They are deadly. Apparently, so, they, they from what the men said, they heard from other adventurers is that as they approached the entrance to the donjon itself, that they they remained lifeless and then sprung into action as soon as they crossed uh, into into the uh, uh, past the uh, what's the word um, into the precinct <laughs> the, the curtain the curtain wall. Yeah, it sounds uh, like we're not going there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. I got a, okay. I, I got a question for you, uh, Mister Mister the Wise. So I understand from my my new acquaintances here that you all uh, you buy statuary. Is that right? Artwork, so that sort of thing. That's correct. So, uh, do you uh, have a, uh, a a source that you would advise that people search for them? Like you, you know, like you got any advice, like? you could give us about where we could find some artworks. Well, from what I hear, and what we've, in, from the men who've come back from within the caverns themselves, that the halls of Thoth are rife with statuary. The only problem is, of course, that it is now overtaken by those um, devious Setite worshippers. Yeah, yeah. So um, you're saying your sources have dried up? Yeah, well, there are... It appears that the rumors of all the, uh, the activity down below may have uh, dried up the flow of adventurers here. So it's so so happy to hear that you are here. Perhaps yeah, you'll yeah. be willing. But in the Halls of Thoth, yes, there is many, many factions uh, who are roaming those hallways, but I'm sure there are just many dark passageways that no one is even looking at. Where Who knows what antiques may lie, lie about. Right, right. Antiques in general, or just only the statuary? I'm sure there's all sorts of antiques, but we three are only interested in the statuary. Right. Heavy stuff, statuary. Tis, tis. Hmm. Adventurers have come up with all sorts of ingenious methods about lugging it out. I've seen men come out of there with uh, f wondrous contraptions to haul the ropes and wood and all sorts of things. Yeah. Cranes on wheels, my word. So we got a we got a donjon with a curtain wall, a bailey, and looking at that that image. So the whole thing is uh, is what he was saying is like the the donjon, right? Um, yeah, the whole island, pretty much. It looks like basically, yeah, yeah. And there's a curtain wall, and basically, um, what he's saying is that there is a a break in the curtain wall, which is like right here. 
Okay, and then there the the outer bailey is like this right here. Yeah. Okay. Generally. See what I wonder is if you can bypass that entrance, like climb up over the wall or something. Like if, if those yep. guardians are guarding the entrance and walking through, they pick, jump on you. But if you go Yeah, are they wrong. guarding the entrance or are the they yes. guarding the precinct? Well, for what I tell the, the men just said the entrance, and that's the only entrance yeah. that we've heard of is right there in the curtain wall. Yeah, yeah. But I should warn you as well, there's been stories, though, that uh, ghostly howling has been heard from there as well. Uh, two, two, to be specific. Two ghostly howls? Well, who, I'm sure there are all sorts of hateful spirits. God knows what have God knows what would have uh, what, what went on within those walls during the time of the Archontians. And uh, do you happen to know what that structure is just on the other island? Oh, well, yes, I myself know what that is. That is, of course, the palace. The ruins oh, that, of it, anyways. That smaller thing is the palace. That's where the Imperial Archon used to use. Was that the term, Kronos? Yeah, yes, the Archon. We still use it today, of course. Meant much different things back then, of course. But The uh, Archon. Indeed. Assigned by the Basilion himself. The highest ranking member, the ruler of this fair city. Some Probably quite fond of statuary, someone like that. You might say so. Uh huh. Mm. Friend Goblin, I see where you're looking. Your mind is in the right place. Oh, yeah. I, I would imagine that's is, uh, probably been a target of many adventurers. I mean, if you say palace to me, I think, wow, there's a bunch of fancy stuff there. Um, the. Uh... Uh, what's his name? Fenedior? Fenedior, uh, the, the bald, pudgy one, uh, kind of comes over and he, he sort of like pushes Godric aside a little bit and he's like, those are just rumors, friends. Just rumors. I have something solid for you. Now, I don't know oh, yeah? where they can be found, but I have on very, very good authority and I can't give up my sources, of course, but yeah, you can count on this. Ooh. So advanced were the ancient Archontians that in here, especially within Ardenvul, which was a place of arcane research that they had developed before the wars broke out, a series of teleportation rings, magical in nature, of the highest form. No one knows the secrets of their, make, their making except the ancient Sortians, scattered all throughout both the city and underneath in order, because the, the caverns are so large so vast 12 levels deep they say that they in order to 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 uh, to quickly move about within these caverns they develop these teleportation rings and you are required a very complex device with each one each one has an address they say with multicolored plates that you must set in order in, in order to move in between these different areas if we were to live in a time where there would be things called video games, you might actually call them fast travel points. <laughs> Quite remarkable. Teleportariums. I love it. And what uh, what what do these uh, look like? Will we know them when they see them? Or did, uh, I myself like, have uh, never seen them, but for my source, he c declares that they are slightly raised stone circles and each one outside that ring has a device some sort of rectangular device which is subdivided with insets that you must place the colored plates in certain orders sounds like uh something uh, an archon might have access to hmm? quite possibly yeah 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 uh, that's the ticket yeah 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 that's the ticket <laughs> Teleporting. I love it. Um, well, guys, I think that's a ton of interesting information there. It's a ton of interesting information, but I will say, though, I am disheartened at the idea that there's just a ton of these, like, stone golem things running around. Oh, and ghosts. Uh, I mean, what, uh, how, ba how bad could a combination of stone golems and, uh, you know, ghosts be, really? Well, exactly. if it's the same as in the Tower of Scrutiny, you've got the priest robe. Uh, which might do something to uh, help. You know, maybe you go in and uh, pull the lever that turns off the golems or something. I have um, to wonder if the better part of Valor is to go into the entrance everyone else uses and then come back to the 
the really dangerous ones later. <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm just... <laughs> let's go check out the palace. If the dungeon is haunted, let's try the palace. I mean, right, yeah, Matt might be right. <laughs> okay. <I'm... laughs> Walk along the I river. Think Walker is going to have a... Uh... A very alarmed and terrified look in his eye as he finishes his dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's do it. All okay, right. So, gonna, uh, so you're going to sleep tonight? Yeah, do we die? Yeah, and then, do we die while sleeping? No, you don't die while sleeping. It's all good. Um, if you are down a hit point, you can um, you can gain one back. We can have uh, Osric's bed. What's that? Are goblins allowed to sleep in the inn, or are they are they racists here? Nope, they're cool with it. They see okay. all sorts come through here. All right, all right. Go Community goblins are actually particularly um, drawn towards the adventuring style because their uh, their their lot in life in the empire is, is not that fair. So, um, you're telling me this is a crummy place to be a goblin? <laughs> okay, so. You wake up the next day, and uh, let's see if we get a little old uh, little Dolman Wood throwback here to our weather chart. Um, give me a give me a two d six roll, please. Who's doing it? I'll do I it. Did it last time, so something. You do, it. I'll do, do it. it. Do it. Do it. Two d six, you say? Two d six. Ten. I rolled a ten. Ten. Oh boy. Guess Those what? Of you listening at home? Guess what? It's pouring rain. Yes. Uh. <laughs> All right. So you wake up the next day. And <laughs> what? Thanks, Ted. You just want to be warm and sunny me. all the time. Yes. Oh, I love. Yes. I love the sadism in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh. yeah, you wake up and it's just drenched, right? Um, uh, this happens every once in a while. Uh, the inn is well, yeah, yeah. well uh, situated. Like they've got their irrigation and sure. you know, they're not gonna. It's not gonna swim in here, but. Um, the horses are certainly not happy, that's for sure. Uh, the river, of course, is raging. Um, definitely has risen up uh, quite a bit. Um, and uh, you, you come downstairs bleary eyed and Cronus is down there and he's like, oh, he's like scrubbing out of glass. He's like, you're still up for some adventure, are you? <laughs> These are the good days. This is where you could really get the treasure because no one else is going to be out there. <laughs> right. Well, it did occur to me that it might be a good way to sort of sneak through the city without anyone seeing us. Well, I couldn't help but overhear that you're on your way to the palace where you can approach it from either of two ways. You can go down the east side or you can go down the west side. Either way, they've actually got intact bridges that approach the small island upon which it rests. Wait, how would we get to the west side of the river without... Are we talking about going to the palace or the... The palace. The palace. The palace. The palace. Well, you got me there. That's actually very true. <laughs> uh, you're, you're, you're holding you're up a way to get across, aren't you? You know some way to get across. You'll see it. Uh, let's see. What is this? Um... All right. So if you if you skirt the eastern river all the way down, hew close yep. to it. Yeah. You're going to see the palace ruins on your right yeah. as you go down. And right at the foot of the bridge, you're going to see it in the distance. There'll be a, a, a statue there of Arden. Um, oh, right by the bridge over onto the island. Indeed, but all she's got left is just the pediment with two with her two feet there. Oh, I and see that ankles. on the map there. Yeah. Oh, now, what happened to the rest of her? Who knows? <laughs> he, he, I think those he, guys bought it, right? Well, he like, he cackles and points to the sign of his inn. I was going and to the huge uh, and, the, uh, 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 and the huge art. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> you're a clever bugger, aren't you, Kronos? <laughs> Anyways, that's your marker right there, the statue. You cross over, and you'll notice too on your way down there that you're going to see one of those obelisks. There. You may have seen, Ooh. if you came from the cliff face already, the obelisk of the sun on the way to the forum. There's another yeah. one there on the island itself, but you'll have to go onto the island. I don't know nothing about it, but I'm sure it must be. It's twin. All right. Let's, let's skirt the river along the east side and, and take the second bridge. Off you go Unless then. Unless you want to go across the... Just check out the 
the Dungeon Island just to see if the rumors are true about right. stone golems that want to beat your beat your ass. I, I don't. Know. I, don't, I don't want to go. Let's, let's go when there's no sunlight, please. I do not want to go to Ghost Island. Yeah. Okay. So you head out. The of dogs is much uh, much exaggerated. You head out into the pouring rain, pouring yeah. rain. Yeah. Um, yep. And uh, I assume that you're going to basically you do what he said, like you're going to stay on the riverbank, right? Like you're not going to take the road and then cut across, right? Right. Stay on the riverbank. Although I think we need to give it a little, a few feet of distance. We don't want to slip and fall into the river. Very true. Yeah. So it is dangerously high. It yeah. doesn't look like uh, just based upon what you saw in previous days that the river is uh, uh, overflows often, like the banks are very high. Um, so uh, it's not right. prone to over to, to flooding basically. So, um, uh, but it is significantly higher than when you saw it before, and it is raging. Like, there's no way. Like, basically, at this point, I'll just tell you right now, if you get in the river, you're dead. It's a, like, it's like a death thing, right? Um, okay. No save, nothing. You're just dead. Um, but you do notice as you... As, as you brother get, dead. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, if you head... When you're heading along the eastern bend, though, um, towards, that, uh, towards that bridge, you can see that it is slightly less vigorous on this on this side okay yeah um, uh so mostly dead mostly dead there you go maybe a saving throw with penalties um so you pass by that bridge that you saw first of all okay so yep. it is as i said it's eight foot wide with a one foot parapet um graceful um uh, with expertly laid stone um basically like high arcantian make right like the the best to, yeah yeah uh any trolls under that one no, it does not. Other than just like the the unique look of it, there does not seem to be a, in the fact that it's intact. It does not seem to be anything else of interest other than as a uh, way to um, safely go across to the Donjon okay. Isle. Okay, uh, okay. Pass, passing it by, you go through some more scrub brush, um, and yep. uh, let me just give it a quick measure before we drill down to exactly where you are, so I can just kind of pass the time here. Uh, f find out, not pass the time, but find out how much time has passed. Uh, I'm going to say, excuse me. Uh, I guess what we're doing is like when uh, we're probing, right? We're just going to poke around and and see what gives under our concentrated assault. And and then our military and tactical genius will come to the fore and we will exploit yeah. the opportunity, right? So we've, been, we've been holding it back, waiting. Back. I'm going to... When you travel like long distances here, um, unless there's something that's, you know, like a random encounter or something like that, I'm going to be relatively loosey goosey. So don't like nail me whenever, like in a future session where you're like, you said that distance was only took us six turns, and we now you're saying it's seven turns. Like, don't be that guy. Oh, we would never be that guy, John. Yeah. So um, that that guy has to remember things that <laughs> happened in the past. Uh, so I'm going to roughly say that uh, you left at 8 a.m. and it took you about an hour to get down to. Um, the point where you can actually see this obelisk across the river. Um, so it's about 9 a.m. right now. As as um, here, as you kind of circle around the, the river, once again re is going to rejoin the main part of the river, but there's a small tributary that actually goes underneath this other bridge, right? Um, it's yeah. at this point where you can actually see um, the the uh, the grant. I'm going to switch it over to Albear for folks, um, where you can actually see the... Um, uh, the ruins of this palace. Now it's dominated, of course. The, the eye, your eye line is immediately dominated by this obelisk that rises up, uh, which is not on this drawing we're looking at. Yeah, I don't it, see one. Uh, it is difficult. It's because it's because like because it's an isometric map. It is um, sort of hidden, so it's actually like right here. Oh, do you see my thing? It, it's not. I it's, it's see not, your dot, but it, I sure don't see an obelisk. But okay, there's one there. Yeah, there, there's one here. There's one right here. This is not an accurate map, you know. Like this is not part. No, of, I know. Right. Part of the module. It's just an artist rendition. So it's at that point where the river. It's at the point split. exactly. Yeah. Okay. And is it uh, is it intact like the first one was? Uh, so no, actually, it's not. Um, ah. That's maybe, why we maybe can't that's why it's on the map. Over. Uh. <clears throat> oh wait, actually, I may have screwed up. Hold on. Uh-oh. Yes, we've all, all right. been eaten by baboons on the way. So what I'm going to say is that it is directly out, like right outside the primary ruined walls of the palace, um, but it appears to be only about a 10-foot stump okay. of what was once an obelisk. 
So I, I okay. might have misspoke because you wouldn't. It wouldn't have been like a dominant landmark for you. Is there writing on that obelisk, John? Um, it looks like there is, but you can't tell from this distance. Like you, you know, you can't determine it at all. On the other side of the river. Yeah, it's on the other side of the river. Exactly. Yeah. I want. I want to go see Arden's feet. Let's yeah, so, keep going. So further down. Um, a lot of people pay money for that. Yeah. yeah, I know. Well, it's yeah, it's not an episode of House of Dragons. I was just gonna say House of the Dragons is a big part oh. of that. Uh, <laughs> we got a we got a bad reputation, the goblins, you know. <laughs> um, okay. So you head down to the bridge and um there is right in front of that bridge, there is the remains of what was obviously once a colossal statue of Arden the Defender. Um uh all that's left right now is uh, a large pediment, and there's two enormous marble feet and ankles. Um, and it looks like all of the other parts of the statue are like nowhere in sight. I would like to poke around this pediment, you know, tapping it, looking for empty, hollow compartments, anything, uh, a doorway, a hatch, mm -hmm. anything. Search the. I want to search the pediment or the pedestal, rather. Okay. Uh, it's going to take you a turn. Yeah. Uh, you want to roll? Yeah. Um, just a d6, I guess, right? Yeah. I rolled a three. Okay, yeah, you don't uh, find anything strange. The only thing strange that you notice... Well, first of all, it's um, there's no inscription at all. Um, and just the fact that there is no remnants of statuary right there's nothing there's no shards anything it's just only the feet and the ankles but every other part is gone now you've you, you know you've seen one part the head right um, but everything else is is, is gone the, the british museum <laughs> um that's too bad i thought for sure i'd find something here um while he's doing that john i'm just going to go to the bank of the river mm -hmm. and just look south at those areas that look like they have little docks yeah See if there's any boats still there, or uh, okay. yeah. So it looks like it's like a little lagoon, right? Um, the docks appear to be cement structures, actually, um, that extend in. Um, they're like very, very pitted. Um, uh, at least one of them looks like it's ready to just like if if a foot steps foot if a foot is on them, they little it'll collapse into the into the lagoon. Um. Uh, let's see, there is, uh, uh, let me check. There does not appear to be any boats there. Do they, visible. do they look like, do they look like docks? I mean, to us and the do. map, they, kinda... they do, they do okay. look like docks. Yes. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm betting that this is some sort of like pleasure boat area. Like, I mean, it's too small for it to be like shipping. Are the docks big enough to accommodate like a like shipping like ferries? Or they are, is it they are large like... enough to yeah they're they're large enough to carry like river barges right. Okay. Oh. Yeah, but pulling river. your way back up the river from here must be horrible. Right. Ugh. All right. Well, okay. let's cross the bridge. Go check it out. The bridge. Unless anybody else wanted to look at feet or do something right here. I'm not into feet. No, let's go across. Okay. The bridge. gross. Okay, across okay. across the uh, bridge you go. And, uh, John, I'm going to pull out my bow and put an arrow in on the string and be ready. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, shield and, uh, and axe out. Short sword, I should say. Okay. I've got my uh, shield on my head as an umbrella, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I'll, I, will, I will have my, uh, my mace and shield... Uh, Hand. Okay, cool. So you you cross over onto the island, and uh, you're coming in from the eastern side. Uh, so you see, as you look to your right on the northern end of the island, the the palace ruins kind of sprawl. Um, it uh, it looks like at one. Let's see, what would you actually see? Um, it looks like the west, the the western and central portions of it look to be. Uh, Lion ruins, but the eastern portion seems to be in a little bit better shape. So the one that you're kind of closer to right now is a better shape, and that there is a dome there that is uh, still intact. 
It sort of Ooh. rises above it. Um, in addition... Okay. Hmm? So I just want to get a sense of scale here, John. When we say this is the palace, we're not talking like Versailles or Buckingham. We're talking like a stately manor sort of thing. Yeah, well, not not a verse. Maybe in between that, right? You know what I mean? It's like it's 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 a it's a grand civic palace, right? In the, in a, like a in a Roman mode sort of thing. Right. 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 Um. So it looks like though that it was had multiple domes which have since collapsed, but the eastern dome, um, is still intact. Okay. okay? Um, and. Uh, let's see. There was yeah. Okay, so there um uh, on the eastern side though there uh, there there appears to be the main entrance that basically fronts that bridge there, and it is uh, consists of two massive double doors, fifteen feet tall, made out of straight up ebony. Um, are still wholly intact, and they are closed. Right. I wonder if ebony doors count as statuary. Are there any carvings on the doors, Sean? Uh, no, actually, they are they are devoid of of decoration, but expertly oh. carved. What about the uh, figures? Like uh, you know, they mentioned the stone guardians at the other place. Are there any you know statues on the outside? Any uh, features? No, not that you can see, unfortunately. Um, and I lied about the doors being devoid of decoration. Um, let's see. No one likes a liar, John. Oof. Uh, at first, I didn't see anything, but now that I look at it more closely, something's starting to become clear. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one second. Sorry. Safe. I have to read some stuff because I wasn't expecting you to go here. Give me a second. Um, <laughs> uh, we're we're nothing if not unpredictable. I'm also kind of miserable in this rain, to tell you the truth. So yeah, I, I would. If we can I, mean, I think it'd be very realistic to assume we'd be like, yeah, let's go inside. Okay, so there are, um, you know, like in Labyrinth, when there's those doors that were like made out of like uh, goblin faces that were holding like knockers. It's sort yep. of like that. There's like so, um, on each door, there's like a face. Like an abstract face. Okay. Now, what's interesting about the ruins themselves is that the doors are are almost freestanding. Like they're closed and they're ebony, but like everything else is sort of ruined on all sides of it. So you can see that even beyond the doors, from an angle, that you can see that there's like a corridor that kind of goes back in there, like uh, amongst the ruins, that you could easily just kind of climb over the rubble and like bypass the doors entirely. Doors. Yeah. Right. Um, but the doors are just sort of like standing there, like these monolithic black things, just closed and somehow resistant to the rest of the destruction. Mm. All right. Well, I don't know where to hide to... from dragon's breath. Mm. I don't think we need to even try to open it. We can just like climb around. Yeah, man. I would love to climb yeah, we, over. We might want to have the rogue check them out and see if there's anything unusual about them, or you know. Yeah, I can I can go pick one of their noses and sort of get a feel around and see what I got. <laughs> I find. <laughs> see if one of them tells the truth, the other one tells lies. Yeah, I was wondering. Yeah, can oh, I open the there... door and just sort of like get a sense of Are there any gemstones in their eyes or any uh, no any they... details beyond being? Yeah, are... It looks like they are, are they... carved out of ebony, um, uh, the same ebony as as the doors. Yeah. yeah. Are they human faces, John? No, they're sort of. Yeah, you could interpret them as such. They're. They're artistic representations, you know what I mean? Like a like a green man sort of thing, you know, that, that kind of Yeah. But no, yeah. uh, uh there's been a lot of like animal symbology for no, different... no, yeah, they're definitely they're definitely like humanoid. They're not animal in any okay. Yeah. And there's no uh um like set or thoth kind of imagery or iconography on the doors. There is not, no. And that's an interesting thing to note, right? Um the, the religion featured heavily. At the Tower of Scrutiny and the Pyramid and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But here, at the yeah, palace. Right. This is more secular. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Well, why don't we uh, volley over the side of one of these ruins? Uh, yeah. Man. Or I can, yeah. I can, I can shimmy over and go first if you want me to take the risk. Right behind okay. you, brother. Okay, you pop over. Um, uh, so, it, it, as you. 
let's see. Uh, yeah. What's your backup character, David? <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's a very evil wizard. David a little longer than all of us, dude. I firmly believe this. <laughs> If I have to jump in that river, I will. <laughs> I'll use one of your bodies to float. <laughs> okay, so you kind of climb over the rubble, and this is like a mixture of of rubble that's ex like ruins that are exposed to the sky, but also there's a there's yeah. enough st uh, stone here that's actually formed like whole chambers and things like that. So as you kind of pop, as you bypass the doors and crawl over like the wall into the thing, there's like a central corridor uh, that can that can actually be traversed that leads deeper into the palace. Um, uh, and as you, yeah, there's not, there doesn't not appear to be any sort of danger except for maybe, uh, you know, shifting rubble and stuff like that. If you want to call everybody else over, it's fine. Can I look okay. in the back end of the doors real quick and see if there's any latch or something supporting them from the uh, back end? And yeah, I'll also call them to come and join me. They're, they look to be supported by the fact that they're in like very sturdy jams, uh, but there is no, okay. um, uh, there is like a, like a, handles that you can like push and pull but um but that's it i'll go over the wall oh, let's yeah, go over, over, over. Check, check it out inside it's wet and nasty up here okay yeah that's i keep forgetting it's, it's pouring rain yeah so um once then, you're, once as you're, a goblin i'll shake off all the water like a dog yeah um mm -hmm. and you you the most of the rain you're now for, protected by as you sort of enter into it uh, basically so um you find a and you find yourself as you kind of court, move along this corridor into what appears to be like an antechamber of some sort. Um, and it's uh, very strange as you kind of walk into this like scene. Um, it's strangely like domesticated almost, like domestic. Um, it's it's uh, an antechamber that's like carpeted. There are two uh, wooden uh, settees. Um, and there are three doors that lead into the separate wings of the palace itself, like sort of like the central mm -hmm. area. Um, uh, you do see, though, that there are sitting in two of the settees, there are two what appear to be desiccated corpses. And those corpses are wearing what appears to be servant's livery of ancient art, of ancient art contos. They uh they did not give up the ship, dude. They were uh they're here to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. uh John, are they are, are they uh uh wearing any weapons? Uh they are not, no. They don't actually have anything on them other than like the rotted clothes that they're wearing. Um and they just look to have collapsed right. upon those settees. Now the sure. uh you can see that you are sort of like in the central portion of the palace, so that there are doors on in this antechamber, there's sort of like doors that lead to like the north and the west and the east. And you know from outside mm -hmm. that the northern and the western um, doors would lead to ruined parts of the castle. The eastern doors would actually lead to the one intact part, like almost wholly intact part of the um, of the uh, palace. Those doors are all closed. John, can I pick up a pebble and just hawk it at the side of one of these corpses' heads and see what happens? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So yeah, you you chuck it and um, the the head like just you know it does what it naturally would do. It cracks to yeah, the side. Yeah, yeah. You can hear bones cracking. All right. I would like to um, carefully go up to the corpses and look to see if they have, you know, butler's key ring or fresh mm. meat oh. between their teeth. Yeah. Wait a minute, guys. Osric also had a set of keys that we found uh, when we went into the Tower of Scrutiny. Right, you did have a key ring. You're totally right. We didn't get the the cloth, but we got the key ring. Yeah. So totally somebody right. should have that. You should definitely mark down that key ring. Yep. I'll put the key ring on me. <clears throat> okay. All right. So I'm looking for keys on the servants. Or, you know, money or, uh, you know, a, a map. Welcome to the palace. Guidebook. Anything? Yes. So Jewelry. teleportation piles in their pocket. Teleportation guidebook. Yep. Um. So you do see see that one of the servants actually in its uh, vest pocket has a small stone sigil of some sort. It looks mm. like to be like an arcane sigil. Oh. Like a 
when you say sigil, you mean like a like a mark, sister. like an arcane mark. I don't know, it's like a little like. disc or something that's got. Yeah, a... it's like a little stone that you can fit in the palm of your hand, and it ha- and it's like uh you know engraved with like a strange arcane symbol on it. It's not glowing or anything like that. Okay, but it's it's obviously like some it's... sort of weird magic mark. Ooh, this is how we get into the servant doors. All right, I'll I'll work that. Nothing else on these uh, guys. Uh, no, not that you can see. No. Gold fillings. No. Is there uh, uh, looking at the at the the doors? I guess we start with the eastern one. Uh, yeah. Is there is there any like you know insert insert sigil here shape? <laughs> uh, no, it seems to be like it's a well made door. It's like you're in a in a palace, so it's like uh, you know very strong banded. Um, but no, no indications of that nature. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, maybe we uh, uh, put the near up, give a listen, and then go check out and see what's. Yeah, happening. man. Okay. What's your What's your listen check, David? Uh, my listen check is I don't think exceptional compared to anyone else's. Let me see. It's just one in six for me. So I think Yogi, you guys have better listen than me. I have two in six. six. <clears throat> yeah, you should. I'll I'll give it a listen. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Oh, but I rolled a three. Yeah, it doesn't not. Doesn't let's hear let's roll that, John. Can I also roll for the same roll, or is that kind of verboten? Uh, you can you can all listen. You can yeah, if you, if you want. Okay. Oh, I'm not. It's only a one in six. But I got a one. one. Nice. Okay. There you go. <laughs> and for once, a dwarf listens. <laughs> True. You hear nothing. Listen, Duran seems like a pretty good friend to me. All right, nothing. There's nothing there. I'm gonna open the door. I want to hurry up and, and see some action before the end of the night. Let's go. Well, Four I hit points. It. It's eight fifty nine, and I got to go in one minute. So. <laughs> how, how long could it take to die again? Okay, we can we can, yeah, we can actually end, we can actually end with this description right now. Uh, okay. When you touch the door, Gorn, and you open the door, the um, there is a brilliant flash of light, basically right at your um, eye level. Um, that is like vroom, like right in the door itself, and you can see that it forms a arcane sigil that looks strangely like, like the that. the stones. Amazing. And then um, it, oh. it it like glows for a second, like it bursts in your eyes, like in red like red flame, like, vroom, like on the door, and then slowly like whoo, disappears, and then it's like gone, like it was never there. But is I did not explode. No, 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 no! You're not hurt. It's just like this, like bright light just, <laughs> and then it just fades away as your hand. Does like, it happen when he opened open the door, right? or when he just touched it? Huh? Uh, when he touched it, when he attempted to open oh. the door, yeah. When the moment he but the door was not actually open at this yeah. point. Yeah. So if if Squeegee could scuttle up and put the arcane sigil right where that glowing sigil was, and then try and open the door, you do you do that? Yeah. Okay. When you do that, light flares again. And the uh, the mark like disappears, but you can hear like a <laughs> of like uh, nice. of locks like opening, like within the door. It appears that's interesting. You didn't expect that. Okay, so I'll once I hear the clank, stop. Up. You'll do that next time, Ted. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think oh, I, the, I the door is now a reservation open. that is at nine o'clock. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Okay. I did. <laughs> Bye, He's David. Go live your life. All right, let let, you let, all. let David go, and we'll we'll give a proper goodbye. So, <laughs> uh, so Bye, David. yeah, we'll we'll leave it there where they open the eastern door into the palace proper and see where they can actually find within the intact eastern wing underneath that dome. Uh, so cool, good stuff. Uh, thank you, everyone, uh, again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to please like and subscribe as normal and spread the word. Please tell your friends. That's right. Um, and don't forget too that we will have the link to our feats of exploration sheet down below um, so that you can go check that out and we hope to see you guys all next time so have a great week everybody we'll see you next time bye yeah have a good week everyone